Guys, today I'm going to go over a few little hard truths with you today. And the reason I want to do this is because these I think are very important things for you to understand to really help get you off of the diet cycle. Now I know we talk about this a lot and I'm always talking about metabolic rate and all of these things that are changing from restricting, but I want to point out these three, again, a little bit of tough love facts for you because I think it helps with changing that mindset. First and foremost, if you gain weight the second you eat more than let's say a thousand or 1200 calories like you know your caloric intake is low but if you eat anything above that you gain weight immediately that likely means that your body may need to gain that weight and you're probably thinking oh no 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 no! my doctor has told me i have to lose weight there's this this and this there's probably a billion reasons that you're saying right now that is telling me the, to the contrary right but hear me out if you eat more than a thousand to 1200 calories which is already way too low as you know if you've watched my videos and then you eat more than that, you gain weight. That likely means, likely, of course, I don't know for sure because I haven't seen you or <laughs> done your metabolic test, but it likely means that your metabolism has dropped. So let's say your metabolism is at 900 at this point. We don't want it to stay there. That's not appropriate. And as you've probably seen in lots of the case studies that I've done, we want to pull that up. We want to get your metabolic rate up to where it should be, which is maybe 14, 15, 1600, and then work on any changes that we need to. And if that means that you have to gain just a little bit of weight in that process, that's perfectly appropriate. I know that feels very counterintuitive depending on what your goals are, but it should not be the case that you gain weight the second you eat more than 1,000 or 1,200 calories. To be totally frank, with you if you're eating an appropriate amount of calories you really shouldn't see these big weight fluctuations if you're someone who like goes on vacation and gains 10 pounds after a week or two weeks of vacation that probably means that in your normal day to day you're not eating enough your weight really should stay pretty stable now of course our weight does fluctuate for lots of reasons but for the most part your weight should stay stable now, that kind of leads me to my second point, which is starving yourself is never going to be the answer. Now, some of you are probably like, yeah, obviously, but I can't tell you how many people that I've worked with that have told me that they've been told by a, a dietitian, maybe, or a doctor, or whatever it might be, that they should only eat 800 calories a day. And that is never the answer. You should never be eating anything less than 1,200 calories. I've talked about that a ton of times, and even 1,200 is way too low for an adult. I'm stressing that because I think it's easy to fall into this pattern of like, oh, well, you know, so-and-so said this, so this seems okay. Don't fall for it. Don't eat less than that. Now, the last point that I want to make is actually about growth and development. Now, this is a really, really important one because a lot of people start dieting right around this age. But if you have gained weight in your 20s or maybe early 30s, that is perfectly appropriate, right? So hear me out. And I learned this from a pediatrician actually, but hear me out. It is a part of normal female adolescent growth to stay the same height, but gain weight in your 20s. Did you hear me? I'm gonna say it again. It is, a it is a part of normal female adolescent growth to stay the same height, but gain weight in your 20s. Now, that's not often talked about because, you know, most times once you're in your 20s, you're not seeing your pediatrician anymore. And the other reason is that those growth charts that you're usually plotted on the whole time that you're growing up go from age two to 20. So we kind of don't talk about that 20 to 30 time period, but especially for women, bone density is still changing. There's still some research that brain matter is developing, which is going to contribute to weight. And you're also still developing in different ways based on reproduction and all those different things. And so I point that out again, because a lot a lot of people in that age range or when they start dieting, they maybe gained a little bit of weight for one reason or another, they panic and they do these really restrictive diets. So don't do that. So needless to say, these three things are a little bit of hard truths, but I wanted to point them out just to solidify that your body needs fuel. It is okay to fuel your body. You put, could even need more than 2000 calories a day. I think a lot of people think that that's this crazy ceiling that no one should eat above, but remember, your body probably needs that much, especially if you're exercising. So trust your body, listen to your hunger, remember food is fuel, and you should never be starving yourself. Your body needs the energy. You can do it. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments.